Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director Ray, thanks again for being here today. Uh, to the 38,000 uh, folks that, uh, that work for you, and I think you brought up a good point, uh, a few of them can poison the well, mm -hmm. and that has happened in the right. past, but the vast majority of those 38,000 are people who volunteer to serve your, in, in your agency, defending our nation, and have a servant's heart, and for that I'm very grateful. And those who aren't, get rid of them as, as quick as you can, because they hurt the reputation of everybody else's. Job one of any government, municipal, state, or local, is to protect the, 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 their citizens. And our government is responsible for the American citizens. So looking at the border, the cartels control everything in Mexico. And everything that comes through our border is controlled by a number of cartels. The illegal immigration in the millions. The human trafficking, which is pure evil, modern-day slavery for the sex trade. And finally, the drugs that infiltrate our, our country. They come from other places too, but from Mexico, the cartels control everything. And as I'm listening to uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Crone, talk about the government of Mexico, it almost sounds like a failed narco state. Just last year, 70,000 Americans died from fentanyl. Didn't overdose, they were poisoned. And that's what the DEA uh, administrator today said, this is poison, not an overdose. They see us as the enemy. Put another way, if two 737s crashed every day in this country, we would shut down that airline. That's how many people are dying every day from fentanyl. And as a military man, I look at what's going on on our southern border. If the, failed, if the government of Mexico has indeed failed and has become a narco state, and I'm not a, saying that it has, but it almost looks like it. And we're losing wartime numbers of Americans age 18 to 45, the people who should be getting married, who should be finding jobs, serving in our military to defend us against threats overseas, and that pool is shrinking every day with these wartime numbers that we're losing. Would an authorization of use of military force aid you in your effort to stop this poison that's killing Americans every day? Uh, well, I think the authorization, an authorization to use military force is probably a, a better question for some of the agencies that would be uh, designed to implement it. But I, I do believe that the cartels pose uh, a, a tremendous threat uh, to Americans and the fentanyl trafficking that's coming across the border uh, is not just a border problem, it's a threat to everyone in the country, really, but at least every community in the country. Um, and more needs to be done uh, to try to dismantle those cartels. Uh, and so I think we should be considering whatever tools may be out there. You will, I think, be hard to find an FBI director uh, who wouldn't welcome more tools um, in the toolbox. I, the cartels do see us as an enemy. They have shown that. They're killing us. We're not a customer. They're, they're, they're killing Americans with their product. And it's being, used with, it's being done with chemicals from China. Everything China does is a military operation. Complete control at the top uh, in, in asymmetric ways. They don't want to fight us on the battlefield. They don't want to fight us at this, on, on the seas. But if they can diminish our military by killing our young people, they're going to do it. There's not 100,000 other people, other countries dealing with this problem like the United States is. That's because we're their primary th threat, and we agree that China is our primary th threat. So everything they do is controlled at the top. So if it's being controlled, then they are allowing those chemicals to come to our nation. And we need to recognize that. We need to talk about that more often because this is being done on purpose. They don't have to fight us on the battlefield if they can defeat us here at home. Young men and women going to school, not trying to take and uh, get overdosed or thinking they're taking something else because this, this poison looks like other things, to include candy. That's pure evil. So what the cartels are doing and what the Chinese are doing is pure evil. And, and I'll, I'll give up the rest of my time here, but um, it's time that we stood up a lot stronger, helped you do your job. And the threat of authorization of use of military force with some of my SEAL buddies, ODA buddies, some F-18s, I think would bring the Mexican government to the table to do more to support you and your mission to stop what is going on. And it might make people start to shrivel up a little bit down in Mexico and stop doing what they're doing. So thank you very much for your time today. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.